hello welcome or welcome back to my channel so I am doing another budget with me this is for the third paycheck of July and um, let's just get started <laughs> yes I have this as a cheat sheet because it helps streamline the process a little bit more actually more than a little bit more I need something to uh, I'll just say it like that all right so, before hmm, money was taken out from my account, I only had three cents, <laughs> which is a good thing because the reality is once I reach the point where I do the Dame, Dave Ramsey's baby steps, the idea of his steps is you zero out your paycheck. You have no money left over because you designated a spot for them like on which sinking funds, on which savings challenges, and what bills you pay off. So therefore your money is working for you and you're not wondering where did the money go. You know where the money is at because you designated where it goes. So when I got paid it was uh, 171 and 54 cents. So that left me with 171.57 cents. Now, the bills I covered for that initial amount was, let's see, what was it? My AFF, you see this bill more because I pay it on a bi-weekly basis. And then I paid off two after pays with this it's still in the process of paying this one off luckily one of them was the third payment so after I made that third payment I'm not on the final payment on one of these two so the next time I pay off it will be over with and one less after pay the total was 76.28 and I think and I did technically went out with this money so I might just put it <laughs> In. I went to Wendy's for breakfast and that was 807. Now I had what was it? One uh, 7157. So subtracting Let's see the 77.22 left me with 94.35 and then the 76.28 left me with 17.44 Oops, I had to redo this math. <laughs> I just realized that. Let's just say, uh, let me redo this one. I didn't update it on here, and that's what I'm like, oh, that's not gonna work out. Eee! Seven, zero, eight, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, four, five, but let's just say I had ten dollars left over. So with that ten dollars, yes, I did have a transfer. So I had ten dollars left according to my account. I didn't redo the math on this portion. When I realized the mistake I made, the seventeen forty-four was with the seventy-one sixty-one. So yeah. So technically, that would have been actually eighteen dollars and some change. So let's just say this: it works out to ten dollars. So with the two forty-five, I transferred the wisely card I'll put it wisely that left me with that added me to 255 and then with the 255 these are the bills I'm gonna cover with that was the upgrade which is 188.22 in my one of the credit cards I have Lane at 
$47.11. Now, the $2.55 technically I didn't deposit as much was because of this. This was what's left over after I took out the amounts for my A7 wallet and $115 in cash on top of that for the rent. So I paid the rent off already. So I'll put the rent here, but it won't be reflected here because I took it out and whatever was left over was the $2.45 and that, that covered these two bills. So the rent is $115. So I took the $115 plus the $160. So these two combined, I took out $275 in cash and the rest, $245 was deposited. So I like to do different colors. So with the $255, I pay off the upgrade, which left me with Sixty-six, seventy-eight, 78 and then the Michelin 47 and 11 cents which left me with 1967 now the reason I have more money than usual is because I usually try to have this as low as I can to like less than a dollar but the reason I have this is because my flushable wipes I was down to one pack and the one pack I was using and that was it so I know I needed to go to Walmart and buy that so that's why I left I took out a little bit more and left more in my account. And I did go to Walmart. So technically, I'm not going to put the Walmart charge here because it's not a, a bill, but I think the total was like 15 and some change. So really, I only have like $4 and some change left in the account. That is it for the budget with me. Like I said, it is a slow process, but it is getting there. The next video you'll see from me, which I'll film tomorrow on Sunday, is my check-in week three for my no spend challenge I'm just gonna say right now I pretty much spent money on takeout the whole week it's been a crappy week um mentally I'm not doing the greatest I'm kind of spiraling and let's just say this week reflected that spiraling into whatever the hell is happening with me but um I still have nine days in the month so I am gonna try my hardest to have more days of no spend but hopefully you enjoy this video thumbs up subscribe to my channel I see you in my next one bye